What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're gonna do stage two of the like sort of the opening sequence of Eve. We'll just walk through what uh, what the heads-up display looks like, a little bit of the UI, um, get ourselves into the station, and then that should wrap us up for this uh, this portion of the video. Uh, like I said in the last video, we're just picking up at the exact place where we left off. Aura is walking us through the UI, and I'll sort of add commentary to that. But if uh, by all means, follow the tutorial as, as, as you're playing because it'll make a lot of things make more sense. And in general, the game walks you through things in a relatively decent way. So before we click next and move on to the next thing, let me just sort of walk you through what's on your screen. This thing here in the middle, and I guess I should shift over and let you see it. So this floating thing here in the middle, that's you. That's your ship. May not look exactly like this if you chose something other than Galente, but, but that's your ship. And it's a Corvette class ship. At least I think it is. So all over the screen here, we've got Aura up here on the left. This section here, this Sistu Vert or whatever it's called, uh, that's the location that you have. That's your system. That's the region or the constellation, and this is the region that you're in. It just sort of helps you pinpoint your location in the greater galaxy of EVE. Um, so this is your ship, and if you left click, you can look around and see you know, what's going on. If you zoom, scrolling up zooms you out, scrolling down zooms you in, and what you see around you, I'm going to zoom out just so that we can see where we're at. These little sort of box looking things are large non-collidable objects or large collidable objects or LCS as they're called. Don't worry about that for now, but as you see these little icons over them, that's what that means. You don't need to worry about it, but I'm going to zoom back in back to our ship um, and that's you can see kind of what's around you in space. You can zoom around and there's nothing really right next to us and because they're just starting you off in the game, they're not going to put you in any really dangerous situations. Um, so what else is on the screen? One thing that might you might note is this these two items right over here. This is the overview and you can it's like windows in that you can grab it by the top and move it around. There are corners that you can grab to expand or contract it. Um, and then within them there are tabs. So what the overview tells you and what it shows you is just what we were talking about. It shows you what's around you. And if you might notice, then nothing on here is, if we're looking at, and you can drag the columns so that they're a little bit bigger or smaller, whatever you like. And uh, we'll have a whole segment on the overview by itself because that's a pretty complicated, and uh, it's a portion of the game that you can sort of customize and really get into. But don't worry about that for now. Just get it someplace where you're gonna see it. I usually like to keep it in the lower right. That's me. Um, you find wherever it makes sense for you. I make mine pretty big. Again, that's just me. So that's our ship, Heavy Marbles Velator. I'm gonna sneeze here, but <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the second window, which was separate, is your selected item or your target window, right? So if I select one of these items from the overview, suddenly all sorts of information is populated here. It tells me that it is a wrecked Galente Dominix battleship. Okay, well, if I expand the name column a bit, you will see that that is actually what we clicked on. Wrecked Galente Dominix battleship, and it's reflected here. It shows our distance, which also is reflected here, uh, and then it gives us a number of options. We can show info, which if I click on it, it pulls up an, uh, an information window, which you can, again, resize as you see fit. Not a lot of information in this because, well, you're in the starter area and they don't give you a lot of information. Uh, if something is moving, you can click this and it will track it, uh, or you can look at it, and that just visually takes you to it. So we've selected this thing here, and so clicking on it takes us to it. Clicking on that again takes you right back to your own ship. All things considered, you don't need to be really ever looking at your ship, and interestingly enough, the closer you are to your ship, or if you are viewing it, um, in the camera view, the closer you are, the more you will hear what's going on around your ship. So if you're shooting your gun, for example, uh, you'll hear it when you're zoomed in, 
but if you zoom way out, you actually won't hear your own gunshots, and you won't hear the shots that are hitting you either. So if you're in a quiet room, and let's say, hypothetically, you have somebody sitting behind you either working on their own computer or just reading and using an iPad, and they don't want to hear every gunshot that you fire. Yeah, that's the uh, dog. Like I said, very excitable. I apologize. So if you don't want to hear that, you can just zoom yourself out and really just you know hear the basics hear aura periodically talking to you telling you that you don't have enough capacitor to jump or warp or whatever so all right so that brings us to this so we've got our targeting window i like to have mine a little bit closer to the center here this this little what it's called is the readout i have it here because usually what you're doing and the buttons that you're pressing are down at the bottom right there um, your weapons will be here your propulsion and sometimes your your shields or whatever will be in this middle slot and there'll be a bottom row that manages your armor and such but don't worry about that so you got your targeting window which has look at if you need to target something that button is here and also you may note that there is a hotkey that is also shown there so if instead of clicking something over here say you want to target this wrecked Galente Dominic's battleship and you don't want to move your mouse over here to lock on it and lock it as a target. If you hold down control and left click on the wrecked Galente Dominic's battleship, it targets it and this is your target. To untarget, there may be a hotkey for this, I haven't gone and looked, but you have to right click and untarget. Now, another way to lock the target on, uh, to do that is to right click on the item here and come down here and select lock target. You could even right click here, which is the same as clicking there. So there's a lot of different ways to do the same thing. So that's how you pick the target. Uh, keeping at range, orbiting, opening cargo, and approaching, those are more navigational things. Um, and we can get into those once we kind of get to that point in the tutorial. Um, down at your readout, like I talked about, there's these are your weapons. You've got a Gatling railgun, and you've got a civilian miner. And it's just a module that you've got on your ship. Um, you've also got an afterburner. Now, Depending on what ship you're in, you may not have a railgun, you may have a missile launcher, you may have a projectile weapon or a laser of some kind. And yes, there are lasers. So these two things are very important. Um, this window here is your chat window. And again, it's very similar to your overview in that it's just got multiple tabs that you can click through. Uh, local shows you chat from people in your system. Corp tells you or shows you chat from people in your corporation. You start out in a, a standard or uh, a general race or faction related corporation and you can stay in that corporation for your entire time in EVE if you would like. Uh, if not, there are a lot of player run corporations which are fun to join and they get into all kinds of activities. So that's worth looking into but we'll talk about that at a later date. So, you're probably going to want this big enough that you can look at it. Personally, I like to click on this little member list icon and show a compact member list because I don't care what their faces look like and I do the same thing under the little gear icon here and uh, let's see, show text only because I don't need their face right next to their, their name. I'm never going to see them so who cares what they look like, right? And so this is their name and this is what they're saying. If you left click on somebody somebody's name it shows you their picture which we just selected in the last video what corporation they're in and what all kinds of different information it tells you what corporations they've been in and so on and so forth so this is the chat window you can interact with that it's not too complicated um, and this is where most of your buttons and controls are as far as like settings um, we won't get into too much of some of these lower ones but there's a help button that you can select and go and find all kinds of information these career agents are something that we're going to get to uh, pretty soon um, the journal shows you missions what agents you're working with and a number of other things as well but again we'll get into some of that a little bit later but it's good to know where that is because missions will be something that we get into pretty immediately here um, your wallet this shows you how much money you have how you earned that money or if you have like we just earned 5,000 credits for uh, an inheritance or not credits ISK uh, which 
coincidentally, or not so coincidentally, because the game is made in Iceland, is also the name of the currency in Iceland. I forget what the uh, uh, what the acronym stands for, but ISK or ISKIs, as people call them. This is this is where you'll you'll figure out how much you've got. The total balance is right there. Uh, you've got your personal assets. This will tell you where all of your collected items are, ships, cargo, modules, everything. Spread all across the galaxy, it'll tell you what station they're in, how many items you have in that station, and how far away in, in jumps uh, those items are. This button here shows you a ship tree, we can get into that. This shows you a map. Um, this is the galaxy, and you can left click to turn, right click to drag around, you can zoom in and out, and there's all kinds of, you could spend two or three days and learn half of what this map shows you and, and is capable of. So we won't get into that right now, but it's good to know. Fleet button, again, not going to do that here. Corporation, if you were in a corporation, uh, this is where you would have certain information, like if your corporation was at war, uh, if people have killed each other within your corporation, or, or however that goes, and just basic info, information there. Uh, so corporation, industry, if you want to build or manufacture, research, or whatever. This is where, this is the window that you'll be working in. <clears throat> we can get into that in a bit if anybody has any questions about that. That's also very involved. Uh, and if you haven't figured it out yet, this game is very deep. There are all kinds of different aspects to it that um, you can really get into, have spreadsheets to track and manage, and you can become an expert at that one area and, and do very well within the game as a result of it. So. It's mostly just a matter of figuring out what you enjoy the most and what you benefit from. Uh, the regional market is this button and it looks like the up and down of a market and we can get into that but that's relatively straightforward but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, your ship fitting tool which this is hopefully looking familiar because that's your ship and these items here look like what's here you've got your afterburner there and then you've got every ship has highs mids and low slots right so the highs are usually where your weapons are or almost they are where your weapons are uh, there are other modules that you can go up there like mining lasers and whatever but uh, in general all your weapons are up in the high slots uh, a lot of times your shields and your propulsion mod uh, modules are in the mids and then your armor and other sort of cargo expanders and things like that are in your lows so this is the basics when you go to drag and drop uh equipment onto or equip your ship you're going to do it in this window but you're probably going to need to be in a station in order to do so we'll get into that as well um, but while we're here it shows you a lot of specifics about your ship like right now i've got 4.8 damage per second that i can do effectively i've got 900 hit points I can target things just under 25 kilometers away and I can fly at 350 meters per second. Uh, so this is inf information that you're going to find interesting you're going to be looking a lot at, but right this moment it's not terribly important. Uh, mail, it's like email, so nothing too terribly complicated there, but there are two different tabs that you need to be aware of. Eve mail, which is basically your email. Communications are things that you'll get from the game world itself. Uh, specific mission agents or corporation agents will send you messages and you'll need to get them in here. Uh, you'll get a little notification at this notification feed when something comes in, so you should be checking that pretty regularly. Bounties, contacts, insurance claims, things like that. Um, people and places, you will find that you need to bookmark locations, like if you really want to come back and find this wrecked Galente Dominic's battleship again, you're going to need to right click on it, either here or over here, and there will be an option to save the location. And when you do that, it'll show up under your personal locations. You can create folders and organize it however you want, but, uh, but that's here. So you got places, agents, agents that you've worked with, basically. We haven't worked with any yet, so it's empty. And then personal contacts. So if you make friends, you can put them in here. If you've made enemies, you can also put them in here, which is important. And we'll get to that in, in a bit as well. Uh, your inventory or your cargo hold. So that's one way to open it, is select this item over here. And that shows your, your, uh, your main cargo hold. And then there's a bay specifically to hold drones in. 
or you can click this right here and that opens up the exact same window. And I don't know if you noticed, but conveniently you can search your own cargo hold for things. So if you have a ship with a particularly large cargo hold, you can do a word search and, and sort of filter it out that way. These things next and previous, as you get into, like I just selected the drone bay, but if I wanna go back to this or whatever the previous window I was in, you can just hit previous and it's like being in a web browser. Uh, and up here is the channels or the chat channels that you're in and I've got local and corp and it's tied very specifically to your chat window here and then this is your character clicking on here shows you well more information because that's uh, this is where you're at so it shows your skills that you have available to you and the skills down here and the list down here is what you're training I'm not training anything right now because I've got another character on this account that's training something and you have to do very special things and use a lot of money in order to train multiple characters on a similar on a single account um, but what you want to do at this point is get a skill training I would recommend picking something out of engineering like capacitor management for example or um, one of these I don't know, electronics upgrades, but like one of the capacitor skills or skills that you're always going to be using no matter what ships you fly, weapon upgrades, just grab something, drag it down, and drop it here. And it'll start training and you can go about your day. Now, there's all kinds of information here. I won't go through everything right this moment, but you've got your skills, stuff on your character, and there's little tabs within that, interactions, more tabs, your license, skins if you want to make your ship look a certain way you can do that and your history for employment and your history of skills that you've learned so don't worry about this for now but that's you and yeah I don't need to know about that we'll get a skill going and you're good to go so that's the basic of what you're looking at here um, that took a little bit longer than I thought it would so I'm gonna make the next video about moving through this space section and getting to the station which they'll walk you through as well in the tutorial. So feel free to jump in and do that. Um, once you get into the station, look for the next video and we'll sort of talk about what your options are and how to set yourself up for a profitable and productive and hopefully happy life playing EVE Online. So thanks for tuning in. Check out the next video and uh, if you have any questions or if there's anything that you want to learn about that you can't find information on or you just don't want to look up yourself, let me know. I guarantee you're not the only person who has that question or who is having a problem with something and uh, we'll take care of it there. So thanks for tuning in. Feel free to follow or subscribe. I'm also on Twitch periodically and uh, I'll just, uh, I'll see you there. Thanks a lot.